Hi guys, welcome to my channel Cool Tank A3. Today is the video about how to keep crystal clear water in the aquarium. So before we get into each tip, it is very important you to understand what is the nitrogen cycle is, or you, you call it new tank syndrome. If you got a brand new tank and if you're experiencing cloudy water in your tank, it is most likely to be an algae bloom. New tank will go through a cycle which is produce toxic ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. So for you to understand what is these are, it will take four to six weeks to clear it up, the cycle to go through. So what happened within four to six weeks? So it will produ produce toxics. The first toxic it will produce is ammonia. So ammonia, how this get into the tank by you put feed them. When you feed the fish, what will happen is the food waste will go to the surface of the tank. And the food eaten by the fish, that, that will digest and it will come out as a poop. So that also go to the surface of the tank. Then that ammonia will produce nitrite. It is very high toxic. That nitrite will turn into nitrate. So nitrate is less toxic but still harmful to your fish. So how you take the nit nitrate out of the tank only ways change water. So if you're experiencing cloudy water in your tank within this four to six week, if in case if you have a brand new tank, then the best tip I can give you is be patient because nothing else we can do. You have to be patient to four to six weeks. But if you're saying you stayed more than this, but you're still facing the same issue, cloudy water, then I'll give you 10 tips. So which is going to help you to get the crystal clear water in your aquarium. Okay, the 10 tips. The first one is adequate filtration. The second one, filter cleaning. Third one, keep up with water change. The fourth one, less feeding. Fifth one, aquarium maintenance, ornament cleaning, especially the glass cleaning. The sixth one is the gravel cleaning. Seventh one, continuous lighting, lighting in the tank. Eighth one, adding a sponge filter. Ninth one, adding a wave maker. The tenth one, adding a UV sterilizer. So let me take you through one by one. When it's come to the filtration, let me explain to you what is filtration is. Guys, when it's come to filtration, the filtration divide into three parts, chemical, biological, and mechanical. So what are these three things? What is chemical filtration? What does chemical filtration does? Chemical filtration is what is, chemical filtration will remove the odors and the organic components from the water. So when the organic components come to the water, then will discolor your water. So when the water is discolored, what will happen is it will give you a bad smell. So sometimes you know when you open the lid, you feel that fishy smell, that's not nasty smell. So that smell will go out of the tank only using the chemical filtration. So in the market, you have carbon and pyrogen. So if you use that one, then you can take the, the organic components and the smell out of the tank. But for the crystal clear water, chemical filtration is not important. But you need mechanical and biological. So what is the mechanical filtration? So I personally say use the sponge filter because sponge filter give you mechanical and biological.
filtration. So when I say the mechanical filtration, so what happened is the sponge filter suck up the water through the sponge, then the particles will stuck on the sponge. So it will take a trap the dirt in the sponge. So that is called mechanical filtration. So biological filtration is the once the sponge has matured or we get old. So what will happen is it will grow bacteria colonies within the sponge and the surface area. So that will boost your uh, beneficial bacteria. So when that happens, that's called biological filtration. So best thing is use the sponge filter. So how, you, so what is the benefit of using the sponge filter and how to do cleaning the sponge filter? So I have another video, please check out that. Okay, the second one is the filter cleaning. The cleaning the filter is very, very important. So we always clean the tank, but we will forget about the filtration. So make sure you clean the filter properly, thoroughly. Spend time, take time, clean properly as well. And the third one is the water change. So when it's come to water change, one of the best way to achieve and to maintain the clear water. So if you not keep up with the water change, what will happen is you won't get the result what you're expecting. If you want to get the uh, the clarity of the water, or if you want to get the uh, clear water, you won't be get it until unless you keep up with the water change. I personally do seven to ten days. I between seven to ten days I will change water. So if you're not doing that, if you're not fixed to a date, or if you drag it, so you do after two weeks, after three weeks, what will happen? You're going to miss a week. Then in that time, you're going to build unwanted toxic in the tank that will turn your tank into a graveyard, which means eventually bacteria will come in, unwanted disease will come in, and water clarity will go, uh, go away. Then you eventually kill your fish without knowing yourself. So one of the best way to find out when to change water, you do a water test. When you do a water test, and it'll, so I personally do uh, on or more 40 ppm. So if it is more than that or on, then you change water. If you leave it more than that, so it will be a nasty place to your fish. So best thing, you set a time every week, once a week or uh, fix a day or else do the water test. So from that way, so you won't be missing out water changing you can keep up with water changing. Tip number four, feeding, less feeding. Guys, always remember, if you are a beginner, you always mess it up. Because in myself, I myself uh, mess up as well. So if you are new to the hobby, you see the fish, fish can give your face like innocent. You always think they are hungry. So you feed them, as if you are eating three times a day or four times a day. So you keep on feeding them. So by doing this, you are going to mess the tank. So less feeding is best. So if you do, so if you want to know how much to feed, how often to feed, I strongly recommend you to check out my other video so you can get an idea of it, how to feed your fish. So make sure you feed your fish an exact amount or correct amount. And the fifth one, aquarium maintenance. So it's ornament cleaning, especially the glass cleaning. Because we always forget to clean the glass, especially inside bit of the glass. So sometimes you see you your tank is give you clear water, but when you see through the glass, so it look like still cloudy water or is not clear water. So make sure you clean the glass, inside the glass, whenever you do the cleaning of the tank. And the sixth one is the gravel cleaning. It's also very, very important. Guys, please make sure you clean the gravel, take your time and clean thoroughly. So if you're not sure about how to clean the gravel as well, I recommend you to check out my other video as well. I have a video to show you how to clean the gravel as well. And the number seven, 
continuous lighting in the tank. So if you put lighting in the tank for a long time or 24 seven, what will happen is you bring down algae bloom, then cloudy water in the tank as well. So you put, I personally use around six to six hours or between six to eight hours. So you try to keep it in that way. Do not put 24 hours uh, light on the tank. So which is not good again. Okay, number eight, adding a sponge filter. I personally say guys, adding a sponge filter is a, always a benefit to your tank. So sponge filter, there are many benefit. So one of those benefit is keep your tank nice and clean. So it'll give you quick recovery or it'll give you quick clean. So when it's come to clean the sponge filter also is a quicker, but the sponge filter itself clean your tank quicker as well as quicker as well. So make sure you adding a sponge filter that is also an additional benefit. And the number nine, adding a wave maker. So adding a wave maker is not necessary if you have a smaller tank. But if you have a tank which is 60 gallon or above, then you add a wave maker, which is benefit as well. Because the, the waste and all the poop and go and stay in the bottom of the tank. So filter can do much work, but what will happen if you add a wave maker, it will push all the those uh, particles out from the uh, surface to the water up, then it will easy for filter to work. So make sure you add a wave maker if you have a tank which is more than on uh, 60, 60 gallon or more. So that will really help. And the last one, adding a UV sterilizer. But this route could be expensive. Okay guys, I have given you 10 tips how to keep your aquarium water crystal clear. So you take and implement the ideas and information I've given you. So hope this video is very useful for you and this will help you to get crystal clear water into your tank. If you got any questions, please comment down below so that I can respond to you as soon as I can. Please guys, like, share and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much guys. Hope to see you in next video. Till then, see ya!